Hi everyone, it's Deja from CrochetEverAfter.com and today we are going to do a tutorial on how to create a magic adjustable loop. This technique is good for any type of project that you're working in the round and you need for the beginning round to have a completely closed hole. Examples would be a beanie or any type of amigurumi. So let's get started. Okay, to begin my magic adjustable loop I'm going to start by making a loop with my yarn. I'm going to take the tail end and keep it on the bottom and twist down to make a loop. You'll see my tail end is facing to the left and it's behind my working yarn that's attached to the ball. See it's looped over. And I'm going to reach through my loop and grab my working yarn and pull that through my loop. Then I'm going to yarn over and slip stitch that to create a slip knot. Now I can pull on my loop to make it smaller on the tail or I can pull on the loop to make it bigger. Depending on how many stitches I want to put in this loop, sometimes you might need it quite big. I'm doing single crochet, so I'm going to put six single crochets into my loop. But first I'm going to chain one so I have a nice height. And then I'm going to do my first single crochet. To do that, I'm going to insert my hook through the center, and then I'm going to yarn over, or as I always like to say, lay over my yarn, because this first one is never quite wrapped all the way around your hook. And I'm going to pull up that loop. Then I'm going to do an actual yarn over, and pull through to finish my first single crochet. Now this technique can get a little bit difficult because you're not working into stitches, so your loop wants to kind of go all over the place on you, just hold on to it with both hands as you work to keep it straight and out of your way and it'll make it a lot easier. So I just made a second one, I'm going to make another one, reach through the center, lay over, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through. I got three, let me do three more, center, yarn over, yarn over, pull through. Go through the center, yarn over, yarn over, pull through. I have five, one more. Now the fun part begins. We finished our six single crochets. We always count our V's to make sure. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't count our chain one. That's just for height. Now we're going to close our loop. So we're going to grab our tail end that we made in the beginning and just give it a yank. Pull it nice and tight to close that hole. Don't have quite a circle yet because we still need to join around. Now when working with smaller yarn, sometimes it's hard to see, especially if we're only doing like six single crochets or small amounts of, of single crochets into the round. I like to count backwards from what I've made if I can't find the correct stitch to insert my hook into. So I'll just count backwards one, two, three, four, five, six. So, I insert my hook into that first stitch, which is the sixth stitch from my hook, yarn over, pull through slip stitch to finish my beginning round. And you'll see that this slip stitch took the place of that first stitch. So now you're going to count from there. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Depending on if you're going to be working in the round or in spirals, that's going to dictate where you're going to insert your hook next and what steps you're going to take next. So if you need that direction, go ahead and look for those tutorials now. But that is the Magic Adjustable Loop. 